Hi, okay. We're uh, going to um, get our plastic lid from, this one is a classic double chocolate chip from the Ralph's Bakery lid. And it has the number six symbol in the corner inside the recycling triangle. So we're going to uh, wash the lid so that we can get the price tag and the sticker off of the lid. You'll have to excuse my hat wearing. I just came home from painting outdoors, so my hair, I have um, hat hair. I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, so hat hair. So we're going to wash the plastic lid to get the sticker off. Okay. It doesn't matter if you scratch the plastic because we're going to be scratching. Here's our plastic that we're ready to use. Now if you still have a spot that has some really stubborn sticky sticker stuff on it, then you can always use a little bit of fingernail polish remover to get the rest of the sticker off or some WD-40 works too. Okay, now we've got two pieces of plastic to work with. Let's go make some shrink plastic stuff. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do with our plastic is we're going to sand it a little bit with some just um, fine sandpaper, about uh, 220 grit or so whatever you have in the garage. Get one that's got the, trying to make it so you can see the six. You see the six? Yeah. Here's the six inside the recycle symbol. So that's what you'll see on your plastic. Okay, so take your sandpaper and rough it up on both sides. helps whatever you color it with to so stick better. It looks like this. It's all scratched up.
Okay, so now we're at the baking stage, and if you'll notice, I have the window open in the studio, and I have the toaster oven. You could also, if you don't have a toaster oven, use your regular oven, because it's such a low temperature and it's really quick. You could um, use a... Um, embossing heat gun or you can use a hot plate if you don't have a toaster oven. Okay, next we have a handy dandy piece of matte board or cardboard and you can see I've used it a whole bunch. I'm going to put my earrings on top of the matte board. So well, they're on the mat board. I'm going to plug in my toaster oven. And it's important to unplug it when you're done so you don't leave things plugged in. Okay, I'm going to put my toaster oven on about 275 or 300. It's not that big a deal, it just means it'll either cook faster or slower. I'm going to give that a second to heat up. Okay, so now we're going to put our earrings into our toaster oven. And I just have it on a piece of cardboard there. Close our toaster oven and watch our earrings shrivel up. And they get all curled up. It looks like they're going to be in a little ball all squished. And then they go back down. See, there they go. All shriveled up. And goes the other one. Let's take a sneak peek. See how they're all crumpled up? See that? Okay, right, let's let them keep going. help just so that it doesn't take as long for you to see. Okay, so then I just grab the edge of the mat board. It's not that hot. It's like warm. And I smash them down a little bit more with my my art spatula and let them cool down. One of the things that I like to do after I bake them and they're all cooled off is to color this edge right here, just on the edge. So if you take one of your Sharpie pens, um, a fatter one, or you can use a gold one if you wanted, and you put it on the side of it, you can just color all the way around the edge. don't have to, it just gives it a finished look, I think. That's the cool thing about making things that are handmade, is that people are just really happy that you thought of them um, longer than it took to just, you know, pick something in a store. Bag, buy a bag of these for you know extremely cheap. I think it's like a dollar for a hundred or something at Michael's. Or you can um, make this into a keychain or just about anything you want. You could even just use some th thick thread, embroidery thread, or something like that, and make that into a necklace. So what you do with these is up to you. It's just one basic flat piece of plastic that you've decorated. Now one thing you should probably do is spray these to make sure that after a while 
the um, design doesn't rub off from people's oily fingers. You can use clear acrylic spray, like so, to spray them outside. Or you can use uh, Aquanet hairspray, also works if you have that in your house. So let's go spray these. Okay, we're outside. We're going to spray our earrings. I'm going to spray them with a clear acrylic spray. Give them one coat on each side. Should do it.